Amor is the titia, the joy of love, spirituality of marriage and family, the last chapter of the exhortation. I will read you a passage of the Bible. It evokes uh, Jesus who knocks at the door of our heart. And Pope Francis uses that passage to a very originally in the sense of uh, putting it in another context. Jesus knocks at the door of families. Jesus knocks at your door, at the door of your family, at the door of your personal heart, at the door of your couple, at the door of your family. So let's listen to the word of God. Listen, I am standing at the door, knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you and you with me. This word of God is such a great gift. It's about Jesus Christ wanting to come into our lives. And sometimes we think that he can he wants to come in our personal lives, but we forget that he wants to be in the life of our couple, of our family, of course, of the church and of society. So he knocks at the door of your family. Do you want to open the door of your family to Jesus Christ? When you open the door of your family to Jesus Christ, you receive Jesus Christ, but he doesn't, he doesn't come along. He comes with His Father and His mercy. He comes with the gift of the Holy Spirit and His strength. He comes with His peace and His truth. So He comes into your life, in your heart, and the life of your couple, and the life of your family. And He has the power to transform from the inside your personal life, your couple, and your family. When we meet someone, when we open our heart uh, to someone on a human level, it transforms us. When we receive God, God Himself, God Father and Son and Spirit, when we receive God in our heart, He transforms, He transforms our whole life from the inside out. And it becomes a richness in our life. It becomes a source of love, a source of life in our own personal mission, our own personal projects, our own personal desires, aspiration to happiness and to love and to eternal life. So to receive Jesus Christ, to receive Jesus Christ is a key moment when we receive the love of God, we transform by Him. As we want to love in a family, as we want to love in a couple, it's a project, it's a reality because the desire is there. It's already there because we're already loving. But at the same time, it's a project, it's, it's never complete. And it's uh, always in progress. It's a, it's a path. It's a road. So we want to love and love more and more. But in God, God is not a project. God is a reality. God is love, eternal love. God is life, eternal life. Love, uh, God is peace, eternal peace, eternal joy. So when we receive Jesus Christ and with Him, the Father and the Holy Spirit, the, the full communion of the Holy Trinity, we, we receive love. We receive from God, the power to love, the capacity to love. There are moments where it's more difficult when we want to love. There are moments where we might feel isolated. There are moments of pain, sorrow, where maybe we feel hurt. And but Jesus Christ, by giving his life on the cross, when we receive him in our heart, we receive his cross also. We receive Jesus Christ crucified with his as capacity to love till the end, to love the fullness of love, to love by forgiving, to love by loving the Father, to love by trusting the will of God. So it's a, when you receive Jesus Christ, whatever happens in terms of difficulties, in terms of sadness, in terms of problems, in terms of separation maybe, uh, with the Christ on the cross has the power to transform all our sorrows into love. And when we receive Jesus Christ, not only do we receive His cross, it's not only Jesus Christ crucified, it's also Jesus Christ resurrected. We receive His resurrection. Death couldn't stop Jesus Christ from his resurrecting. Nothing in our lives can stop Jesus Christ from giving His peace, from giving us His joy, from giving, giving us hope, from opening up horizons. So when we receive Jesus Christ, we receive the love of Jesus Christ for all of humanity and for His Church. 
So we receive the Holy Trinity. But we also receive the love of Jesus Christ on the cross, who is crucified and resurrects, bringing us His peace and the power to transform our heart, whatever the difficulties in our lives. As we receive Jesus Christ also, as we become a, a church, local church, a domestic church, as we're living to Jesus Christ, by Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ. And as we become this local church, this domestic church, we become a cell of society because the family which opens this door to Jesus Christ is transformed by Jesus Christ and radiates the peace and the joy of Jesus Christ in the world and in the church and in society. So it's uh, not only a personal moment in the sense for me, it's not only for a family, which is already a lot, but it's for the whole world, the whole church, because God has the power to work in us, in our couple, in our family, but He also has the power to work through us, through our own heart, through the heart of the couple, through the heart of the family, to touch other people's lives. There's a, a very beautiful expression that Pope Francis uses, that is, the, the family is the nearest hospital. It's the place where you take care of each other, uh, where you bring consolation to each other, where you're present to each other. So it's, uh, it's a, a great sign of hope when you open your door to Jesus Christ. I invite you to read the chapter on spirituality of marriage and family. It takes an hour, it's not long, and you discover that with Jesus Christ, your life will be transformed and that it will bear fruit to you, for you, in your own family, in, your, in the life of your couple, and also in the life around you, because the need, the world needs the, that it is possible to live and love. It needs to hear that, it needs to see it. And when we see families where there is love, where there is joy, where there is courage to overcome difficulties, it bears fruit for all the people around the family.